Hello! Welcome back. Um, my name is Folong. I play video games. Uh, and talk over them poorly. So I just now noticed, literally just now, um, this I'm recording this right after the last episode um, that went up. This will go up the day after last one, so I guess this is tomorrow if you're watching these as they come out. Uh, if not, then it's literally the part before this one, so, you know, I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this bit. But uh, I just noticed that I have two more nectars that I could give, and I think I'm going to hold on to those. And I might try and give them out to the actual god. So that's a thing, when a boon appears, you can give the nectar to the god themselves, and they'll talk to you and give you stuff. And another mechanic I want to explain is that you'll notice that sometimes your weapon grow glows all uh, purpley. And that's to say that if you use it for the next run, you'll get bonus darkness. So I am terrible with the bow, just like absolutely abysmally awful. But uh, I'm going to try and use it, because it gives more darkness. And, you know, if anything, um, variety is the spice of life and all. So, sorry, Scally, I kind of wanted to just uh, kill you there to see what's up. Now, I think that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, I picked up the... I put on the black shawl. I, I'm, I wanted to change it there, because I'm like, how often am I going to be shooting dudes from behind? But I'm going to force myself to use it, uh, just to get used to it. So, let's see what we start off with here. Poseidon. You know Poseidon? I have a gift. Uncle Poseidon, it's been excellent to know you, sir, so please, this is for you. Oh, I am positively moved by your affection, little nephew. Although I think I have just the thing for you in turn. Here, I shall transfer it to you. And he gave us a conch shell. Now, in the early access version, well, I'm gonna let him talk first. I have to tell you something, little Hades. My relatives and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours. So call me if you need anything, especially to smash your enemies to bits. Ah, so here we get the call. Now, calls are, are real nice. Um, so it's kind of like a, like an ultimate, I guess. I don't, I don't really know a better way to um, explain it. But if you press the right trigger button, uh, you'll notice below my health there's a little gauge down there that'll fill up with pips. So you get four pips there. Um, you'll do a call. And it varies by what god you choose to get a call from, what actually happens when you do it, right? Um, so with Poseidon's, um, we, we surfboard, basically. We cowabunga and uh, ride the waves, and we do a bunch of damage if we knock into people, and then we also knock them back, which in turn means you're going to wall slam them, which does more damage, etc. I really like the Poseidon's call. Um, however, for example, um, other gods, like uh, Artemis, you'll shoot like a big old arrow that does a bunch of damage. So it varies between which god. And um, basically, when you get a boon from a god, the call will be one of the options. Kind of like how upgrading your other stuff, like your attack or your special, you can also have the chance to get a call from them. So you're not going to always have one every run. But um, they show up often enough that you're you're gonna have one every run. Like, is it gonna be the one you want? Not always, but you will always have one. So yeah, um, I was talking about something before uh, Poseidon started his rant, and then I started talking about calls, and I've completely forgotten. So you're welcome. Very professional of me. I understand. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba, but that's just how we roll on my channel. <laughs> Professional YouTuber, streamer, man. Um, so yeah, um, again, at the time of recording this, I don't really have any viewers, so um, I, I, I have a couple. I shouldn't belittle them. That sounds like a way to not get more viewers, but um, I, you will often hear me say uh, YouTuber slash streamer. I don't actually stream. I just use the term streamer for content creator a lot of the times. So if people want me to stream in the future, I'm open to it. But at, at, at the current time, with my current agenda, it is uh, easiest for me to simply make videos. Um, so if I call myself a streamer, I'm not a streamer. I'm a liar. I'm a poser, as they say. Um, all I do is make YouTube videos poorly and uh, hope somebody watches them. Not really much to go on here, we haven't really gotten any boons besides the call, so... And that's kind of the problem with the tutorial call, is that you have to take it. And so that means that you can't really pick something to define your run. Because I feel like calls don't really define a run, they're just supplementary. Um, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is that um, you've got four pips of your call down there, so... If you don't have a maximum call bar, you um, only use one pip every time you do it. And... Um, 
yeah, that's that. However, if you have all four pips when you use it, you will use all four, but the effect and duration will often be much greater. So um, most of the time, I try to wait for all four unless I really need to use like a single one in a pinch. Uh, but I feel like it's pretty much always better to wait for all four. Now here's a new thing, right? So like, we could go and see Artemis over here, right? You know, fight a mini boss, get an Artemis boon. Nothing wrong with that. What's going on here? So all I need to do is sacrifice gotta pay some life to get in here. You know what they say, you gotta spend money to make money, so... In we go, you gotta spend life to make life. Not true. It's just objectively false. What is this? is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades... Um, hello? May I ask who's calling? Hello, Chaos. Have we met? Although we have met, in a way, I know everybody here, and there. You wish to leave this place, and it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. And if you encounter the Olympians someday, do give them my regards. So, Chaos is interesting. Um, all of his boons work in like a pseudo-monkey's paw way, where, hey, you're going to be worse for a bit, but after that, you get like a really cool thing. So as you can see, for the next four encounters, I take 40% more damage. Afterwards, my cast does 35% more damage. 209% uh, more damage from traps. Dash attack deals 93% more damage. Seems really hype. Like, really hype. In fact, I'm going for it. And I step on traps all the time. Ha ha ha, yeah. Uh, also, Daedalus Hammer. Like, oh my god, am I getting the most blessed run in the world? What is this? Now, this is just incentive for me to actually use my dash attack. Um, don't swing at me, bro. It's not cool. Cool guys don't swing at Zagreus. They just let him leave uh, Hades, the underworld. I keep calling it Hades. It's not called Hades. It's it's called the underworld or hell or whatever. This is Tartarus, but I don't know why I want to keep calling it Hades. That's the ruler. He's Papa. It's not the location. You don't call your parents' house, you know, by your parents' name. It's weird, dude. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of trying to get these backstabs, but as I kind of surmise with the bow, it's a little difficult. So, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not too worried about it. Ooh. Flurry shot is nice. Again, because it's brain dead. I don't have to worry about... Oh, but I wonder how that works with dashing. Nearby foes. I don't like that. Space damage. Ah, dude, I'm gonna take Flurry Shot. I don't think this is necessarily great. Okay, so my dash shot is now just like a shot. Interesting. Okay, um, let's see what Charon has. Karen? Charon? I want to pronounce his name correctly, but my accent makes. What on earth is this? I'm buying it. Oh, it's a random boon! Most disturbing river boatman. That means you win my blessing. Thanks, Poseidon. Um, well, so here's the thing, right? I like I like Tidal Dash, I like Floodshot, but this has a faded choice, which I was talking about, the faded list of minor prophecies, so I'm gonna take it. Nothing wrong with this one either. Being able to knock dudes back with my special could be nice as like a little get away from me sort of deal. I didn't mean to shoot you, Karen. Yeah, Thanks, Flea, you didn't get mad. You know, hypothetically, if I provided you with, say, a thousand coins, would you be willing to give me a ride in your beautiful boat? Upriver, I should say, specifically. Good talk. I had to ask. Well, we tried. Um, I could have bought health there to top me off, but honestly, I kind of want to, um... Not... <laughs> I want to save money for in case I ever get a um, another shop that'll have better stuff in it, you know? So honestly, I kind of like Flurry Shot off the bat. Um, it's really good for once guys don't have a shield, because it's real easy to stun lock them, and I don't have to think about timing, which means that you guys should in theory get better commentary. Now, is that actually going to happen? Oh god, no. <laughs> Who are you fooling? Um, but in theory, that's how that'll work. Yeah, just kind of hit the hold the damage button and you do damage. Who'd have thought? The snozberries taste like snozberries and whatnot. Um, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go for health. 
I don't really have it. There was a trove there! Oh my god, dude. One day he's gonna look at the troves. I, I swear it. I swear unto you, myself, and anything else. I don't know what else to swear upon. Um, I'm gonna see a trove one day, and it's gonna be glorious. Just you wait. I'll prove all of you wrong, myself included. Grab the health. At least I see the mini shop. Um... Ooh. Guaranteed Chaos Gate. You know what? Sure. That sounds fun. Um, I want the Athena Boon. I need boons. Like, legitimate boons. Like, the, the Chaos Boon is gonna do me some work when it's ready, but, uh... I need more than that at some point. These old trap guys are just kind of annoying. They're not really any threat to you or your family or, uh... Your dog, I don't know. What all what all do you people love? Cats. People on the internet like cats. That's how I can pander to the youth, right? Goddess Athena. Um I'm just gonna accept it. I'm not gonna give you a gift, Athena. You've met the master of the seas, Poseidon, haven't you? Our uncle's affable but quick to anger. Be on your guard with him is my advice. <laughs> Ooh, your attacks can deflect? Now that's money. That's cash money right there. So now, uh, if they um, are, don't have a shield, they get stun locked, right? Because I'm doing damage. If they do have a shield, then they try to attack, I'm going to slap them and it'll get deflected, in theory. Now, whether this is going to work out as well in practice, I cannot say, but Darkness, I like the idea. The deepest reaches of the underworld. The void from which all life and consciousness sprang forth during the dawn of time. The realm of chaos. A land almost unseen even to denizens of Death's kingdom. Could you keep it down? You know what, we'll give Chaos a gift. He's pretty cool. As to Chaos, everyone makes offerings to my relatives upon Olympus. I wish to make an offering to you. Thank you for everything. How cruel of you to make attempts to tempt me with material things. Huh? Even he is in turn allowing this attempt at reciprocity. Cosmic Egg. Now, what do you actually have for me, my guy? In the name of Hades. Oh my god, I face a lot more foes, but better backstab damage. I don't know about that one, Chief. Um, uh, the flat attack damage just seems so good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't cast, haha, so this is free. But, like, I don't cast, so the benefit doesn't help me either. I'm gonna go for the, the damage one. Because I'm a psycho. I don't have any money, so easy choice. Um, we're going to go to Hermes. I would have gone to Hermes anyway, because I really like Hermes. And it's also free. Let's go. What's going on there, cuz? Can I call you, cuz? We've got something here for you. Should make your battles to the death end that much quicker. Thanks, man. Uh, so we've seen this one after using Call Game. Dodge and move speed. Your God Gauge charges up automatically? That seems... Sweet. I mean, it's not a lot, but I don't think I really need the The move speed would be nice because when you cowabunga, you do have to hit things, though. You know what? We're going to do that just because it'll make bonking into dudes that much easier. So as you can see, you don't get Titan's Blood every time you beat a boss again with a weapon. You have to use a new one. What are you doing, Zagreus? The underworld is sealed off. What you're attempting is impossible. You've seen what happens when you go too far. This place can't stay sealed shut forever, Meg. In the meantime, I thought I'd get some practice in, you know? I'm not your practice partner, fool. Are you sure, Meg? Mm -hmm. Oh, see, and that was deflected. Yeah, no, this is, this is just sweet. Okay, well, that time didn't deflect that one. <laughs> this is what you get for being uh, cocky. Yeah, so the arrows are pretty thin with the quick shot, unfortunately, so it's hard to deflect bullets like that. Um, I'm gonna try and actually dodge this and get hit by way more of them. So uh, that's good. That's just just great. Um, a lot lower health than I had uh, originally thought I was at. Yeah, 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 do your thing, whatever. You're already almost dead, actually. I feel like I already have so much more damage compared to the uh, spear run that I was loving so much. But I'm taking more damage, so, you know. Uh, 
balances out, I guess, in theory. So you don't get Titan's Blood for doing it again. Um, later on, there will be a way to get more Titan's Blood, but for now, um, it's only when you beat Meg the first time that you get the Titan's Blood. Give me my free health. So let's look at our keepsakes now. So the Conch Shell, the next boon you find from Poseidon will... The next boon you find from will be from Poseidon. Oh my lord, English is a difficult language. And a better chance for him to be rare. So this is what you take when you're like, hey, I want my first run to be from Poseidon. So you pick this thing up, and or my first boon, and you go in, it's going to be Poseidon. And they're typically going to be better. Entering Chaos Gates without losing health. Blessings from Chaos have 20% chance to be rare or better. Cosmic Egg is really, really good. Like, really, 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 really good. Um... <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab the health though, dude. Okay. It's lame, but play lame when game. That's enough time. I don't know how many more chaos gates I'm gonna run into along this run, so um, I don't really want to take the cosmic egg and it do nothing for me, right? Because I've already gotten two. So what are the odds that I get more? Um, I never really see him that I often. I typically see him like once a run, but not like four or five, six times a run. Not like that at that last run where I had like all Aphrodite boons. That was kind of crazy. But, uh, yeah, so here we are, back in Asphodel, back at it again. Um, it's just, it's so free, and even then, when they, they the bomb they drop on death is deflected, so, like, I, I don't know, man, I like what I've got going on here. Um, this is pretty cool. It's working out pretty well. Get back here. It's just, like, rude, dude, don't run away. Don't run from your fate, coward! Fight me like a like a man or a woman, skeleton. I don't know, I can't discern the gender of skeletons. I'm not like a biologist or something. Like I don't know, man. I know that there are actual bone structure differences, but I don't know what they are. Pfft. Oh, let's go here. So that that symbol means that there is um an NPC, I guess is what you would say. It's kinda like an event. What? Singing. Come on in. Here? Hello. Hey, you must be the Hades kid. How's it going then, your royal majesty? Nice to meet you. I'm Eurydice. What brings a big, important guy like you up to a place like this? Hi there. No need for formalities. I'm Zagreus. Just heading out on some official business past the menacing Bone Hydra. Don't mean to be rude, though I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, don't you have your hands full, hon? I'll let you go. But there's one rule in my place, which is nobody leaves here empty-handed. You got that? So take your pick. My treat. Eurydice's cool. I like her design also. She's just... I love the art in this game. They're so good. Um, two random boons. Next rarity. I mean, I only have like th three boons, so I can pretty much guarantee that... I've got a few more, but I can pretty much guarantee that one of them gets up to rarity. One of the ones I would want. They would all get plus one. Or next three have upgraded rarity. You know what? Let's go for this one. Good choice. What did I get upgraded? Got my call upgraded, red call. That's pretty good. And the move speed. So I need to use the call more is what the game's telling me. Um, <laughs> I was kind of hoping that I would upgrade the um, Athena deflect on attack boon so that I would just get more raw damage that I didn't have to think about. But you know, it's, uh, it's just how it be sometimes. Um, if anything, I'm glad I didn't take the special one because I've used the special like twice since I've gotten it. So, um, yeah. I feel like I say so, um, yeah a lot. That's kind of my filler for when I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm very sorry if that's annoying. It's probably now annoying now that I've mentioned it. I probably shouldn't have said anything now that I'm thinking about it. Just tried to keep it on the DL, but, uh, don't say, don't say yeah, you freaking weirdo. Instead, just take a bunch of damage, I guess. <laughs> Oh my god, it, being self-aware is hard sometimes, like, you look at it and you're like, oh my god, this dude. Uh, I really like Yarn of Ariande. Having upgraded rarity on boons is just so good. And here, look, we're gonna get a Zeus boon and it's gonna have upgraded rarity, like, it's gonna be sweet. Just you watch. I'm not gonna die to the mini-boss, you don't know. Oh god, it's Deuce and Thwomp, isn't it? Isn't it, yup. Alright, well, I mean, so far this is going pretty well. I can't complain. Hey, don't stand in the lava, guy. That's not good for anyone. Well, it's good for the enemies, but who cares what they think, right? Like, you're in this for yourself. I was I was about to say, am I going to do this thing without getting turned to stone? The answer is no. Of course not. 
Of course not. Please kill him. Thank you. I don't know how that was backstabs. I was hitting him on his side, but I'll take it. I wonder, nephew, whether you're prepared as yet to harness the surpassing power I shall grant you now. Don't take this blessing lightly, and may you use it well. Ooh, baby! All epics! Okay, so... Oh, my lord. This seems sweet. Billowing strength. 24% more damage after using call. Yeah. I want my call to be a freaking bombshell, dude. Like a, like a gosh darned nuke. Um, because in some of the later bosses, uh, when things get real hairy, you can just Poseidon call and whatever, I'm, I'm Kawabunga riding, what are you gonna do about it? Like, it makes things real easy. It just makes it real nice and easy. Oh my lord, like, against Rego Mooks, there's just no chance, like... I feel like my damage is insane by comparison. Like, I was like, oh, the spear's so great, because it does good damage and you have crazy range. Well, uh, how about the bow that has even crazier range and does more damage? Like, <laughs> what even? Uh, oh, Artemis or Hermes? I think I want Artemis. I want to go heavier into damage. Um, though, now that I'm thinking about it, mobility would probably have been better, but, you know. Already, already made my choice, made my decision. The special is just not worth using. Like, look at this. Like, what? If I had just shot normal shots there, they would have died so much faster. What? Who am I fooling? Hello? Am I missing a guy? Where are you at? Oh, they're over here. What are you doing down here? It doesn't even matter that they have shields, like. Oh, you're lucky I didn't reflect that back at you, guy. You would have felt real silly. You would have felt like a like a real goober. What am I even shooting at? I kind of wish I had gotten deflect on the special. Lady Artemis. Uh, yeah, I'll give a gift to Artemis. Lady Artemis, I hope that you'll accept this offering for all your kindness and support. Hey, thank you for this, really. And I've just the thing to offer in return. It's just a gift, okay? I really like Artemis' boons. I think they're pretty much all just good. You can throw an Artemis boon into, like, anything you're doing, and it'll be good. So. Hey, how'd you get your hands on a nice bow like that? You take good care of Coronaut for me, so I can try it too once you're up here. <laughs> and here's the other. Cast Seek Foes. Dash Strike does more damage. I mean, I don't use Cast, so I'm not going to take True Shot. I'm sorry. Um, I don't really use the dash strike all that much. Well, I do already have the chaos boon from it, and I will use it more as we face more difficult things. Um, such as bosses, and I need to dodge. So I think I am going to go hunter dash. Just because I'm trying to play for the future here. You know what? Give me another one. I'm a glutton. I'm an addict. Like, what, what, what can I say? Oh, and it's free, too. Let's go. Hear me on my authority. And there's the cast again. Um, yeah, support fire. I don't like the 2% crit chance. It's just, it seems so minuscule. You know, like, every... One out of every 50 arrows I shoot will crit, on average. Like, that's just... it. It's crazy. Like, I'll get, like, two crits this fight, you know? Like, I don't shoot that many arrows, right? Whereas here, uh, I get free damage every time I shoot an arrow. Like, it's just 10 more damage on everything I do, you know? That that seems way better. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I haven't run the math. I'm not a mathematician. I'm just a guy playing video games. Like, what more do you want? Why do you have such high expectations from me? Huh? Maybe the, maybe the problem is in your expectations, not my performance. You ever think about that one? No, the problem is absolutely in my performance. I literally took like five runs to even get past uh, the Bone Hydra. <laughs> it's 100% in my performance. But you know, I'm going to continue with this bit because, I don't know, I'm a psycho. And here's where things could get a little spooky when there's a lot of heads, but like, I feel like our damage is pretty good right now, so I'm not that concerned. Um, if anything, I'm more concerned with uh, running into random obstacles, like an actual bot. So I'm going to try not to do that, yeah? How's that sound? That sound good to everyone? It sounds good to me. I already cleared out this side of heads. We're looking pretty good. 
I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this bow run. And it's exactly what I want in that it's brain dead. You know, I don't have to think. Just dash, shoot, arrow. Dash, shoot, arrow. Slap, chop. It's all in the mind. I never actually played the Parappa the Rappa game. That's going to come across as heresy to some people, I'm sure. But, um... I've got nothing against it, you know? It's not like I saw it and was like, Ugh, this game this is stupid. I don't want to play this. Like, I just never owned it, you know? Um, I actually never owned a PlayStation console. Um, I played some PlayStation games as a child. And that, that means that goes for all of them. <laughs> I just got the Raider Call. I wanted to use that. That goes for all PlayStations, like one, two, three. The first PlayStation I owned was a PlayStation 4, and I bought that, like, some, a few years ago, you know, so. Um, but I just never, I don't know, my, my family was, was Nintendo people. We were N64 GameCube people. Not, a uh, not the Sony, Sony family. Let me look at keepsakes real quick. Yeah, it's the same here. So, um, anything good here? I'm gonna take the health and the yarn. But yeah, um, I never owned a, a PlayStation, so I didn't play any of those PlayStation games as a kid um, at my house. However, what I did do as a kid a lot was I went to other kids' houses. Um, my mother worked late a lot, and so um, some days when she had to work really late, I would just go over to other kids' houses and be picked up after that. And um, a lot of the ones that I went to had PlayStation, so I would play various games there. Um, for example, I love the Persona series. Um, I cut off the... I talked completely over the narrator there. I'm so sorry. I was, episode 1, Fulon's like, oh, the narration in this game is lovely. I want to really let it take front seat. Oh, but Fulon's talking about Persona? Pfft, nope. <laughs> you thought. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of the Persona series. Uh, I love Persona 3, 4, and 5. I haven't played 1 or 2. But I played 3 and 4 when I was a child at friends' houses. Um, I didn't really get a full picture of the story because obviously they would play it when I wasn't there. It wasn't like they would wait for me every time. Um, but I got enough to kind of know what's going on. Huh. No. Oh, but these are even worse. Um, sure. <laughs> I guess. Um, now that I don't have to charge it, I respect that a bit more. But I got, a, I got enough of the story and enough from the characters to have a general idea as to what's happening. Um, my What I remember of Persona 3 is not very good, but um, Persona 4 I know pretty well because it came out on Steam here recently, which that's crazy. Uh, didn't see that one coming, not gonna lie. And so, um, unfortunately, I have not gotten around to playing through it again, because it's golden, and which is different from the base game. That was a Vita exclusive, if I remember correctly. Which, why they would ever make that a Vita exclusive boggles my mind, because I think, like, seven Vitas were sold throughout its lifetime. But, you know, Atlas are full of crazy people. What can I say? They don't, they don't want money. They want to be weird. So I need to go through and play 4 on Steam so I can see Golden, but um, I did convince a friend to play 4 recently. Oh, I have to do the rewards first, and he really enjoyed it. I'm grabbing the Artemis one first, like what do you want from me? Uh, no, I like being able to deflect. 29 damage versus 40? Yeah, no, are you crazy? Sure, 3% damage, I don't use the cast. Now that being said, the Athena one is kind of rough. Relatives instead of me, though I myself was first to contact you. Alas, I must respond to you in kind. You know that's fair. That's reasonable. She's right. She was like the first one to talk to me, and I was like, "Hey, Athena. Um, I like Artemis, though." <laughs> and it's 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 always weird because like you want both of them, right? Like they're always both good. Oh no, Chariot Lord. These, these dudes are real mean, and I don't like them. So I want you to die, but Athena's being a real mean lady right now and making you invincible, and I'm not a fan of that. Okay, well, I need to get away from Chariot Lord and deal with the caster. There we go, okay. We've better things to do, I think, than fight amongst ourselves over a matter such as this. True, let's just forgive and forget, right? Ooh. Sure. I need to pick a cast at some point. Oh, lordy. Going Artemis. I don't.
don't know what Athena would give me that I that would really benefit me right now. Whereas, like I said earlier, literally any Artemis boon is just good. Like, I don't think there's an Artemis boon that doesn't work. You know, like, you have to have, like, a synergy or a setup for. Like, they're all just damage. Or crit, so, like, which crit is, uh, shocker, just damage. So I don't get it. Like, why would you not take the one that's just free damage? You know, I could get a, I could get a Athena boon that's all about, like, deflection, right? And yeah, I deflect on my arrow shot and my cast, but how often am I going to actually be able to enable that? You know? You know? And I'm going to say you know a bunch now and try and forget that I say it too much. <laughs> Uh, exit wounds is really nice. God get charged up faster after you do. No, I, I want the mark. Um, I don't crit much, but the mark is really nice. I guess I'm getting an Athena boon anyway. It's not even a choice. Fake choice. It's a telltale game. Your choices don't actually matter. Um, okay, no, you gotta die. So here's the gimmick with the the big orb boss is that it spawns a bunch of these little souls that. Turn into dudes, and um, let me tell you, you don't want that to happen, because things can get out of control very quickly. Very, very quickly, you're going to get in a bad situation like I've done here, and uh, you're not going to be happy. Because even if you kill the big the big gorp, um, they don't go away. You still have to deal with them. However, they stop spawning, so I mean, it's not like it's not worth it, but... You gotta, you gotta really pay attention, because you can set yourself up to a very nasty situation if you just focus down the the orb there, the butterfly orb, and don't pay attention to the souls that spawn. Now, I like how much I talked up the uh, Poseidon Call, and I haven't used it uh, once outside of, like, the first room when I showed it off. That'll change one day, maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'll die and never use it. 10% damage reduction is pretty sweet. Also makes foes exposed. Yeah, we're gonna try and go for that. Um, I'm trying to do backstabs. I think I want keys, because I want to get that new weapon. I'm not gonna get it this run, um, but, you know, you build up to it. That's alright. I don't have to get it this run. I'm gonna have so many more runs of this game. It's not like this is the last run ever, right? Oh my gosh, this is this is great. What we, what I've got going on here? We, you're it. You all are here too. I'm, I need to not be so selfish, full on. You all are here too. You're witnessing this. What we've got going on here is just great. And I'm sorry to have excluded you all. That was very rude of me. I'm sure nobody here actually minded that I slipped up and said myself. Um, but I'm gonna pretend like you did because you know it's the internet. Are always bitching about something or another. Not really much to talk about. The shield guys are free backstab damage. I've already gone on this. Put me in the next room. Give me the nectar. Come on. Show me the money. Probably should have taken darkness because there's some really good um, mirror stuff. <laughs> mirror stuff. Mirror assets, I guess. I don't want to call them boons because that's what the god stuff's called. Upgrades, maybe? Um, especially now that I've unlocked the next level of the mirror. But, uh, Hey, maybe look at the screen, guy. Did you ever think about that one? Um, novel experience, really. But now that I've got the next tier of that unlocked, um, they're much better. Perfect. But still, I don't... I, like I've said it before, I've said it before, I'll say it again, I don't respect darkness. Not... not to get my words twisted, not darkness from Konosuba. Now, again, I'm going to talk a lot about anime, as you're going to learn. Um, make a lot of anime references. I watch a lot of anime. I'm sorry if that turned you off for me. Um, it's who I am, though. So, like, I guess either get, get over it or get over it or stop watching. I don't know what to tell you. Um, anime references will be made. I'm very sorry. Um, <laughs> if you looked at my profile picture and said, huh, this guy, he's probably not going to talk about anime, you've got bigger problems. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you need to really take a moment and, uh, and consider what on earth you're thinking. Like... <laughs> but yeah, not Darkness from Konosuba. Um, yes. Darkness is great. All the Konosuba characters are great in their own way. They're all special little snowflakes. Yeah, Aqua's useless, but it's still a good character. Good to bounce off of. Give me the Zeus buff, dude. Let's go. See the of the underworld as far the means to reach you with my blessing, nephew. Such strange alliances we forge these days. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me clouded judgment. 
and also the pomegranate. I'm just gonna spend my money because I might die here. Ooh, upgrading the call seems good. Yeah. Might as well, because here we go! Though honestly, I feel like this run is a lot stronger than the last run, so I've got a decent chance of beating Theseus and Asterius here. The fiend returns to challenge us again, Asterius. Despite having experienced such a thorough thrashing by us last time. What do you mean thorough? It was close. You know full well that wasn't a fair fight. Face me yourself and we'll see how you fare. Silence you monster. I'll hear no more such wicked lies, half truths, or quarter truths. You, however, soon shall hear my blessed spear. Specifically, the sound it makes whilst sliding into your exposed midsection. Defend yourself! I do like how Zagreus just straight up calls him out, where he's like, Oh, we, we kicked your ass last time, and he's like, it's 2v1, like, what do you mean? And, oh, I'm not gonna listen to your lies, I am Theseus! Oh, this is good. The writing in this game is just so gosh darn good. They really, they really bring the characters to life. Yeah, our damage now is nuts compared to last time. And, you know, you could make a solid argument that it's because I'm actually going for backstabs now. And you might be right. You probably are right, honestly. Ow, can you not, DCS? It's just really freaking rude, dude. But, like, Asterius is already almost dead. And, uh, the fight has pretty much just started. You know, getting the backstabs on bosses is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much more difficult to get these backstabs enabled on bosses, but it's really not. It's really not been that bad. Um, maybe this is a turning point for me. I'm going to actually start focusing on backstabs. Now, Theseus is going to be a real piece of work, but what's new, right? Hey, come on, you're not allowed to turn. What's up with that? It does also help that I kind of have, like, a backstab build going, I guess, what with the exposed and all that, so... Stop turning, dude. There we go. Unfortunately, sometimes you get in this situation with Theseus. Alright, well, here we go. Here's where I'm just gonna Calabunga you down. The problem is, he's gonna do his thing here soon. And, uh... What do you call on? Hey, Aphrodite, I thought we were cool. We just had this, like, great run last time, and now you're helping out the enemy? What's up with that? Oh, yo, that was... okay. Alright, um... <laughs> my brain did not process that one quickly. Okay, so you just stand in the middle on that one. Got it. Understood. That that spooked me. Um, <laughs> I guess that's more of like a setup trap to be like, hey, you can't move or you're gonna, you know, die. Right? Or get hit, you're not gonna die. But you know who is gonna die? Freaking Theseus. He got one last lick in at the end there, I respect it. And just like that, we've cleared Elysium, so it's coming back to me, little by little. Here we get an Ambrosia, which we'll figure out what to do with that later. I'll take the service exit, thanks. Um, I don't have any new keepsakes, anything to buy. Uh, yeah, health, please. Uh, yeah, I don't care about any of that. Is there any, any lore? Anything to interact with? Doesn't look like it. So off we go to... I don't know what this place is called, I forget. Now, I remember the first time I played this game, I got to Theseus and Asterius, and I thought that was the end. And when I went to the next area, I was like, what do you mean there's more? The Temple of Styx. Interesting. So I guess we're near the River Styx? Oh no, not this. Hey, Cerberus. The multi-headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. So it's really come to this, boy. After everything we've been through. Well then. Don't make me fight the dog. Be, there's nothing left to say, except for on your guard. I don't want to fight the dog. No. <laughs> no, but seriously. Hell yeah. I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the Sater problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Mother. I know what this means to me. After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, the voracious hound of hell barks once, affirmatively toward the prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. I was joshing you a little. I know you don't fight Cerberus. 
Ooh, what is this anvil? What? Oh, swap minus one Daedalus hammer for plus two? What? That's insane! But I could lose, like, my flurry shot, right? Which would be... Actually, that's my only Daedalus hammer, right? I don't think I have another one. Yeah, no, I don't want to lose my flurry shot. My flurry shot's great. It's kind of what's enabling this build to be as brain dead as it is. I only have two gold anyway, so I don't know why I'm deliberating on this. Alright, so basically the way this works is one of these rooms is going to have a sack that you give to Cerberus and you let you pass, right? Um, you don't have to go through all of them if you're lucky enough to find it on the first time, but uh, that depends on how lucky you are. So the way this typically works for me is I just go for whichever um, benefit they offer that I want the most first, and then just kind of work my way down. And if I find it early, great, I will continue if there's something else I really want. If not, I typically just move on. Now, I imagine that if you are good at this game, you want to get all of them so that uh, you can get as much boons and benefits as possible. Uh, if you're good at dodging and the likes. That's not me. You're you're in the wrong channel. Hello, this is Folon's channel, where um, we're not good at these things. Um, you know what I'm good at? Uh, nothing is the answer. But I like to think I'm good at talking sometimes, so I try that. And away we go. Um, hopefully Hermes gives me something really nice here. I don't really know what exactly I'm looking for him for from him, but uh, I just really like the Hermes moves. They're just so solid. Like They're like Artemis. I feel like no matter what's going on, you can throw a Hermes boon in there and it'll just make it better. Like... Ooh, just dash right into it. So here's the thing the satyrs do, they poison you, and you gotta run to these little wells to get unpoisoned, and it's real annoying, dude. Let me tell you, it's really obnoxious. But, uh, that's how they do. That's how they be. However, this whole backstab on my auto bow shot thing is, uh, really making this a lot easier than it should be. Oh, and I've still got a Death Defiance, that's nice. Um, for some reason I thought I used it on the Asterius fighter. Maybe I expected to, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, use the cast to try and actually get value out of that for once in your miserable life. Don't get hit by all the laser beams from the snake crystal. It's just not good for your health. Um, it's really, really not good. You know what's also not good for your health? Get hit by the You know what? Use the call. That's good for your health, right? Clear this up. And you know what? Just, like, do it again, huh? It makes you invincible. Just, like, when in doubt, you know? This is basically the PSA of, hey, full-on, use your freaking call, you madman. Would have taken so much less damage there if I'd used that more consistently. I'm gonna give Hermes a gift because I like her. Hermes. Please accept this gift as a small token of my appreciation. Thank you for always keeping me on my toes. Oh, mighty keen of you to leave a tip there, boss. And I have a tip for you. Don't be slow. Maybe this will help with that. Hermes, the speed run god. Speed run god. Speed run god. Oh my lord. <laughs> You can tell that I am a, an amateur at this. Oh, two more dashes. Oh, this is what I wanted. Oh, I love the dashes, man. Look at that. Okay. We're in business now. All right. Let's go. Um, let's go for the boons. I respect boons above anything else, really. I feel like they have the most impactful... Um, addition to your gameplay most of the time. Don't get hit by that. It'd be foolish. Freaking rat lords, dude. Shaking off poison clouds of gas. Like, what's up with that, man? It's fucked up. And away we go. <laughs> See, even he's, he's humming along like me. That's how you can tell, uh, for those astute viewers, that I have nothing to say at the moment, is I just start humming. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know what to say, so he's just randomly humming, or maybe even trying poorly to sing a song. Um, just keep that one in mind. I'm giving you guys the insider info, so that anyone who just jumps into these later, they're not going to know. And you'll have, like, an advantage. It's an exclusive perk for joining in on Ground Zero, right? might be saying, oh, but what if somebody goes back and watches your, your archive? <laughs> Who are you fooling? Um, what you got for me, Athena? Oh, uh, my, uh, my keepsake ranked up. Death Defiant, oh, Last Stand is gonna be good. 
when you deflect attacks, it deals more damage. Yeah, give me the last stand. It's a little shame. It's a bit of a shame that I can't restore a use with that, but the fact that it's going to heal me more is going to be very nice coming up. Now I want gold because uh, our boy down there, Shop Lord, he's got some nice wares for us, and I want to partake of them. I want to support his local business, you know? Always support your local businesses. They, they struggle. Why, uh, why, you know, sometimes, yeah, it's a little more expensive, but often not prohibitively. I'll, I'm willing to pay an extra 10% more on something to support the little Ma and Pop store down the road than, you know, Burger King, right? Like, like there's a nice little Euro place near, uh, near my office that I go to a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, a little bit more expensive than if I went to McDonald's, be but here. tastes better, first off. And secondly, it's just run by, like, a little married couple. And I want to help them out, because they make good food, and they deserve it. What the? Oh, that was a rat digging up. I was like, what the fuck is going on there, dude? It's freaking me out a bit. I don't remember the big... The big rat. I almost said something else there. Um, <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. This, this seems kind of new to me. Oh, Beam Lord, you gotta go, brother. That's just no good. Nothing. No that. Oh, I should have been smacking him with the guillotines, man. It is guillotine, it's not guillotine. Where's this guillotine? You're a psycho. And away we go. So this is normally how this goes for me, is that I have to go through every single path, because, um, I don't know. I'm a masochist. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we don't? Well, that would have been a good time for the special, eh? But, uh, I didn't. So, what can I say? Except, you're welcome. For the sun and the stars and the sky. That's all you get. Um, this isn't monetized, but... Uh, I don't know. It's a good habit, I guess. Or are these ever going to be monetized? Probably not. I don't really think I'm gonna do this for the money, but um, maybe one day it'll be monetized, and I wanna not get demonetized, right? If I'm monetized, I wanna keep it. But for now, I'm free to sing whatever I want. There's no money here. This is free content. I mean, it's free for you either way, but um, I guess it's whether or not I'm getting paid, right? Hey, we found it. This can end this crazy tirade. Hit the fountain, get the sack, send me, eat me out of here. Spend my money before I go. Do I want to do this Daedalus trade? Like, it's spooky, but I could also just get two boons, which I think is better. You know, one thing I'll say for Charon there, he doesn't talk too much. And since neither do you, I'm letting you have this. <laughs> you have not been watching my videos, Artemis. I talk a decent amount. Oh, exit wounds is just so nice. 15% more crit damage is also good. I have exit wounds, like... It also teaches me to use the cast, it's just a win-win. ...unseemly to make contact from that most unpleasant boatman's stash of ill-gotten wares. Nonetheless, this was an opportunity. Um... Sure. Sure-footing. Uh, laugh at the trap memes. <laughs> he steps on them all the time. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach turning contents. Thanks, boy. What a good dog. I owe you one, boy. I did it. Here we go. I didn't think we'd be making it here this far this early. I definitely thought it was going to take longer, seeing as how the first few runs rent. But this has been a real juiced run, so if nothing else, I'm proud to have gotten here. Oh, of course. Hello, Papa. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say, though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered your wretched forces to kill me over and over, but sure, I'll grant you that you've always <laughs> kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then? 
We are gods, boy. Killing one another is our lot. Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. Now. No. You're going home. Alright. Hades, God of the Dead, huh? Oh, bad start. You must hate the very sight of me. You'll understand then why I wear the helm of darkness. Ooh, his spin attacks with Spooky. Commentary is going to be non-existent here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you know, because I really want to win. That'd be cool, right? I'm going to try and do, like, little pseudo-shot calling, I guess, but, uh... There's, there's no chance, no way, no how. Does he have boiling blood now? That's cool. So I'm guessing when, when his cast is uh, lodged in me, I take more damage. That's interesting. Um, I don't remember that. That might have been a mechanic before, and I just forgot it. Entirely possible. The problem is, so you'll notice I'm killing his cast. That's because they explode like that, and it's really not cool. Uh, I don't like it. It seems to be going well so far. Oh, what? Oh, that's him. Okay, yeah, he summoned stuff. It's really not cool. You know what? Cowabunga. We're just gonna... The, the chariot's bad news. Like, it'll it'll really mess me up. So you gotta go, chariot lord. I'm sorry. It's not your fault that you were born this way. It is your fault that you act this way. I said it before, and I'll say it again. And you can see where he goes from, yeah, the little line there. Um, in the snow... It's kind of like if anyone played MGS1, how the guards would follow your footprints in the snow. Sort of like that. Except I don't think you see his actual footprints. You see, like, his spear or something being dragged around. A little weird. you think he wouldn't do that, but, uh... You know, he's, he's Hades. Who am I to question his methods? He's been doing this way longer than me. Um, so he's probably got some, some sort of uh, method to the madness. That's another thing I really like about this game, is that they take a lot of um, nods to actual mythology. Like, like Hades actually has the Helm of Darkness, which was a real thing in Greek mythology. Hades has a helmet that makes him invisible. Um, Hades, stop shooting arrows! That's my deal. Alright? Like, you're not allowed to do that, guy. Stop it! Oh no, you're not coming back. <laughs> I got news for you, guy. You are never returning. <laughs> oh. Oh, greater call! Thank you, Uncle Poseidon, because now I can ignore everything and just bump into Hades. I'll probably get him down here. Now, uh, <laughs> you might say, oh, full on, you did it! Congratulations! No. To have been brought this low by my own ungrateful child. I would expect such treatment from my brothers, but from you. <sighs> now, I do still have a death defied, which is nice. But uh, here's where I'm really going to have to start focusing, and I'm very sorry, but I'm going to do my best to also talk, but again, like I said, I really want the W, so I'm going to try and get it for you guys. Alright, so here's where he shoots his laser beams. It's like really not cool, but it's honestly not that bad. What is this attack? Oh, it's the freaking pots, dude. Pots aren't really that bad, especially since I can just shoot them. And he's going to shoot a wave at some point. Yeah, nice laser beam guy. Don't you don't you feel foolish now, huh? I'm amazed I've gotten the dash timing on that, um on his spin attack. In early access, I got hit by that thing all the freaking time, because it's huge. Now you do get some iframes when you dash, but they're not a lot, so. Nope, you're not doing this. I'm not letting you. You're not allowed, Mr. Hades man. Oh, yep, there it is. Alright, things are getting much more real. Commentary is going to get even lighter than it has been. I'm very sorry, but I want to win, dude. I want the W. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep, I'll be here. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll be here. <laughs> Let's keep, keep shooting. Clear out some of these pots early, so you don't have to deal with it later. Oh my lord! 
You know, the I think what's really helping me here is the quick flurry on the blow. I'm on the, on the blow on the bow. I'm oof, yikes, that's something entirely different. Um, I'm really glad I got it because it lets me not have to focus on timing, and I can entirely focus on trying my feeble attempts to dodge. We've won. So I'm just gonna bonk into him. I'm literally invincible. You're, you're done. You're done. You got a phase three now. Somehow find her. Tell her something for me. Tell her. Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. Oh. What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. You'll answer me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone. My mother. Why did she leave? I run in darkness. There is no escape. So normally in early access, um, this is where they would just eat you out. Oh, so you do still just win. Nice. Cool. Well, what happens now? I thought you like move on. I is that it? Hey, give me that Titan split. This can unlock a hidden aspect of my weapons. I, I would like to continue, please. I still have a Death Defied. I, my health is still very low. Is there more? What's gonna happen now? We're in new territory for me as well. I made it. Beyond the frozen overlook. Oh, this is cool. The first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nix. We're walking. We're RP walking. Look at this nice moment we're having. This is super cool. All of this is new. I, I feel like I, I'm, a, I'm a, obliged to talk over this since there's nothing going on, but I kind of want the mood to be set, you know? The surface, windswept, racked by freezing cold, nonetheless instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime. For it is unlike anything that he has seen. It's beautiful. We actually made it to Greece. <coughs> uh. Hello, Persephone? Oh, I don't like that I coughed. Am I going to have, like, overworld sickness and they're going to eat me back? Because, I mean, you do multiple runs. It's a roguelike, right? So, like, oh, can I, like, examine over here? <sighs> that thing. Yeah, I can look at the sun. That's... The sun. Well, that's a cool vista. Look at this. Do you have anything else to say, Zag? Nope. All right. Well, on we go. You know, it's kind of rude to have your like fire footprints melting all the snow out here. Like, what happens when you want to go into someone's house? You're gonna burn their floorboards? I feel like you should have come up with a solution for this by now, Zagreus. It's kind of like, oh, I, I, I never thought I'd get this far. Like, didn't didn't think it through, you know? I never thought I'd have to. Oh, this is a boss arena. Look at this boss arena. Is this... a kid? Yeah, now I'm moving. Oh, my lord, look at this. Um, hello? Who on earth are you? Pray, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. Speak up. Um, you must be Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. What? How dare! Get out of here! Get out, or I shall make you! Out with you! Okay, no. um, hmm. So then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died! You... you died! Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... now you're standing here before me. 
How? I died. I died. What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, God. You never even knew I existed hmm. either. Alive? Sagrius, he... even kept your name. You live. How can this be? You live. You live. Oh, the cruel fates. My son. Mother. Something feels weird about this. I don't. I don't know, Chief. Some. Some. Some ain't right here. In short, I beat him finally. Though he did everything he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? I just want to say, also, um, I'm not an expert on, like, Grecian or Roman clothing. But I don't think they had pockets in their dresses. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that seems like a like a more modern, intricate sewing thing. Uh, oh, it's. Guess I'm just a little tired. That's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. No. No, that isn't it. It's that. You cannot stay here. You can't stay here. Because I'm dead. Like she said, I died, right? It makes sense. Really, you're <laughs> kicking me out. Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. Same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye. For now. My heart soars knowing you live. Then it breaks that our time together was so brief. No. Hmm. I can come back i can come back now that i found you he... uh, yeah right maybe he'll just let me come back you tell him i demand it and i demand he also tell me how come he over that matter nix never sent notice that you lived olympus is all rife with schemers but i was so naive to think that they were different i'll tell him i'll tell him i feel awful I... I have to go. The sticks shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please. Come back. I shall be waiting here. However long it takes. But, like, why did you leave, though? Oh, no, and now I die. However long it takes. That was a sweet moment. <clears throat> oh man. Uh, can't hold on. Sorry, my voice failed me a little bit there. I should have brought more water. I've actually run out of water. This has been a long recording session. Um, I did not expect to beat it on this run. So um, I guess sorry for the longer video. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, this went on much longer than I had uh, initially anticipated when I allotted time to record today. So um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, first win with the bow of all things. It was the weapon that I was the least comfortable with, yet it's the first one I got a win with. So what can I say? Um, thank you for watching. And uh, if there's... Um, I don't know, I guess if you've got any tips or tricks for me, and uh, let me know in the comments. Um, anything I can do to improve. Again, as I've said many times, I'm still new to this. I'm working out the kinks. I know the microphone quality is bad. I'm really sorry. It, it, it's on its way, I promise. I've got a new mic coming. It's going to be great. So, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you again for watching, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.